Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be a little different uh, because I got a really really different sample. Uh, this is the urine sample that I got today. It looks really really abnormal. So I'm suspecting there can be a lot of interesting things in it. So I'm going to show you, show you how it looks in microscope and I'm going to show you how I process the urine sample day to day. So let's get started. So the brief history is uh, this urine sample is from a five year old male castrated dog breed is Shih Tzu and it has been pain like this for past one week and so they sent this sample for culture and urine analysis and urine cytology. So what I'm going to do is uh, urine analysis. So so in my laboratory we, we do 14 parameters um, which includes total protein, glucose, specific gravity, pH, bilirubin, ketone bodies, nitrite, urobilinogen, then leukocytes, then RBCs, vitamin C, microglobin, calcium, creatinine, etc. Oh. I'm going to open the sample and then with the one ml pipette, I'm going to pipe out the urine and then the urine strips usually you need to dip it inside the urine but this urine being very abnormal I am just doing like this now I am going to gently uh, uh, Take all the extra urine, extra urine from the strip and uh, I'm going to put it in the urine analysis machine. Hi, so this is my urine analysis machine. So I'm going to insert this strip in here. And the machine is going to give me the result in one minute. So the test is going on in one side. Meanwhile, I thought I will give you some quick thing. Take your urine sample and pipe it out. And try to drop it. I don't know if you can observe the viscosity this urine is really really viscous can you see it so higher the viscosity higher will be the proteins and I think our results are ready let's see it hey so the report is ready guess I am right So the protein is 3 plus which is more than 3 grams per little liter. I think it's really really abnormal and yeah there are blood, vitamin C is high, microglobin urea is there and then what creatinine is high. Yeah I think this urine sample requires a cytological analysis. I'm going to show you how I will do both urine sediment analysis and cytology analysis. Hey, I have a micro centrifuge and now I'm going to centrifuge the urine for almost one minute and then let's proceed with the staining. So, yeah, I'm taking the urine sample almost one ml and then I'm going to put it in the centrifuge tube and yeah put it I'm gonna centrifuge it for one minute yes so 
so centrifugation is over and yes this is this is very very abnormal yeah so i'm going to discard the supernatant and we are left with the sediment yes so i have a sediment and then i'm going to take take the sediment yeah i have a glass slide and yeah i'm going to put a drop of urine and just spread it and put a cow slip I'm gonna yeah I'm going to leave it aside and and yes and this is for staining so I'm just going to put one drop and take a clean spread of slide I'm gonna make it one more. Take a clean slide and uh, a drop of uh, urine, and then yeah, I think it's it's a decent smear. So let's do the sediment analysis first. So so basically, this is how it looks in microscopy. You can see many struvite crystals granular cast a lot of wbc's you see a lot of rbc's too in the background and a lot of bacteria also yeah i think this sample deserves a cytological examination and this one in the center looks a lot like uric acid crystal. So we just saw direct microscopy and you guys saw how interesting it was. It really had a lot of things to do. And so yeah, my slide is clean and dry. Now let's stain it with diff quick. So we are done. I'm going to wash, dry and I'll see you in the microscopy. So yes, this is how the microscopy looks like. I see lot of cocci, cocci bacteria and clusters. And you see a star shaped crystal in the center. It is a bilirubin crystal, which, uh, which is mostly seen in liver diseases and uh, in hemolytic conditions. So, we did see a lot of interesting things today. So, what did we see? Can we summarize? So, so the urine had high protein, high amount of microalbumin. In blood, we did see high number of leukocytes. And then what, in cytology, we saw lots of cocci. I'm suspecting yeah, gram-positive cocci, most probably because yeah they are commonly seen here if you want you can always uh, go ahead and uh, do a gram we saw few bilirubin crystals mm, few bilirubin crystals are okay but if you see more like in a field if you see around like 10 or 12 or more than that then definitely it really concerns and then we did see a lot of struvite so, so it probably means maybe the dog has struvite crystal even it has concurrent UTI. We also saw a lot of uh, granular cast. So when you see granular cast so much, then probably first you need to rule out renal tubular necrosis. You know, it is seen a lot in chronic renal patients. So yeah, you need to think about renal 
origin first. So my differentials for uh, this particular sample will be urinary tract infection, cystic calliculi. So these are the two things which I would suggest my doctors to, you know, rule out first. I would advise an uh, abdominal ultrasonography to check how the bladder is, is there any thickening, is there any sludge and probably an abdominal x-ray to find if there are some stones in there. I have also done a culture to see what uh, bacteria go grows. I hope uh, it really helps that poor dog to you know recover from this condition. So if you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel i'll try to do a lot of these videos at least once in a week it depends upon the cases actually but i'm sure i i want to do more of these because i really like it i want to share my work experience with you all so what do you think let me know in the comments and i'll see you soon till then bye